the work called uh, IMO, The Mouth is Redundant. Mm -hmm. And it's a collaboration between me and the musician Gershon Weiserfeer. It's a performance that's uh, combining dance and music and um, many instruments and vocal. And it's really about our relationship as artists, but also a bigger image for a relationship between men, women, two friends, family. Mm -hmm. Me and Gershon always wanted to create together. We met in a production that we both were, uh, we took part of, but I was a choreographer, he was a musician, and we said, okay, we will work together someday. And then after a few years, there was a chance for us to meet for a certain festival. We entered the studio, and there was a concept uh, about, again, uh, a couple, a relationship, about how things can be uh, complicated or how two people can end up together, uh, even though it's just because of circumstances and not because of uh, making a choice. But then we entered to the studio and the concept was just went aside a little bit and we were checking what is interesting about our two uh, talents and our, what is interesting about our meeting. It was just um, a very interesting research over a few months in the studio of improvisation and then slowly, slowly building materials. Okay, so you were in the studio together, so it, it was uh, not the case that the music came first or the dance came first? It was really together and it was integrated mm -hmm. constantly in the process. We were trying stuff, we were exploring and slowly, slowly. Could you tell us a bit about your vision? What is your relationship with other forms of art? First of all, I be, I'm a big believer in collaboration mm -hmm. and I feel that uh, a lot of times the images that I want to, to produce on stage or, or my, uh, my fantasies, uh, they consume a lot of things. So not only the body and the movement, uh, uh, they, they have visual, visual um, sight, I don't know, it's, it's combining many uh, senses smell and and how do you say it? like hearing. hearing and tasting and it's so satisfying to find the full picture the the big picture of you, of what you imagined or what you want to say and it's much uh, deeper when you uh, for me of course if you combine it with the uh, right uh, collaborators right artists and it was um, a really beautiful, again, uh, collaboration also with the people in the theater in Japan, which I worked with before. And then it was two years process in order to arrive eventually to the six weeks that we worked in Japan for that work. And I worked with um, a, a Japanese artist that called Shinji Omaki, which his work was integrated in my work. There, were, there was Gershon that was playing there and performing there, and another Israeli dancer, Michal Saifan, and another four uh, Japanese dancers. It was very deep and very meaningful for me. It was two years that there was research about, uh, or about things that were from my world, but also from the Japanese culture. Mm -hmm. And it's a very melancholic work, and, but, but I was... Uh, amazed by the people that I was working with and amazed by the outcome and by the, how to say, support mm -hmm. uh, that I had there. Have you got any plans for the future? Are you working on any new project at the moment? I'm working on a new project. It's kind of a strange project because it's in Israel and I have residencies in, in New York and uh, Canada and I'm working with a company in Switzerland on a new work so it will be a part of the big work that I'm going to uh, later uh, produce in 2020. The way I see it, I'm like passing through those places. Each project is maybe on its own as well, but for me it's an ongoing process. I'm looking forward to see what's happening in the studio. It's new dancers and also Gershon will be a part of it. It's always uh, unknown when you're entering to a new creation, but also very 
driven and exciting. Um, so we'll see.